If you want to help a friend troubleshoot their device remotely or you are managing a small fleet of your own devices, all that matters here is that you want to control one Android phone from another. We have done something like this before on the channel in which we talked about how to control an iPhone with an Android phone, so let's get into it. One of the very first applications to get it done is AirDroid Remote Support. It's the same app that I recommended in the other video, so that is mainly because it provides a great bridge between a wide range of devices. Download and install AirDroid Remote Support from the Google Play Store onto the Android phone that you want to control. Grab the other Android phone and install Air Mirror on it. After completing this process, open the AirDroid Remote Support on the target phone that you would like to control. A 9-digit code will appear on the phone screen, so take note of it. Ensure that both devices are connected to a Wi-Fi network or that they have data connection. And once that is done, get on the other Android device and launch Air Mirror. Copy the 9-digit code that was displayed on the screen of the device that you want to control. Type it into the Air Mirror on the device you want to use in controlling the other. So it connects both devices. Follow any additional prompts that appear on the control device to enable remote control. Definitely you have to grant some permissions and so on and so forth. So once that is done, you can now control the Android phone from the other Android phone and you can perform your troubleshooting without any issues. As an alternative, we will use TeamViewer, and TeamViewer is another strong cross-platform remote app. It even works on PCs. So you begin by downloading TeamViewer Quick Support from the Google Play Store on the Android phone that you would like to control. On the second Android device, download and install the TeamViewer app as well. Once installed, Open the TeamViewer Quick Support on the device you want to control and note down the ID. Definitely there will be an ID on the screen, so you take note of that as well. So to exercise full control over the Android phone, launch the TeamViewer app on the controlling device and enter the ID that was on the first device into the second device. So once that is done, it creates a connection just like we saw in the previous app. Proceed and uh, follow the prompts on the controlled device that will allow the remote control to take place. Once you've done it, you will now be able to view and control that Android phone from the second Android phone. Now, most of these remote control apps also feature file transfer, that is you sending a DM files from what the controlling phone to the controlled phone. And it also supports reverse file transfer, that is you receiving file from the device you are controlling onto the device that you are using to control the other. So if you found this video helpful, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel for many more of my tech tips like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.